Hello, hello, hello. We're here with Bad Bitch BKK. She'll be sampling all the food and drinks on this episode. And the soundtrack you're hearing is also by her too. Come join us at Mason Masuki, the new Japanese bar in town. A secret Japanese bar in a French home, Sofitel Sukumit. We will not only be trying the drinks, this place also serves very decent Japanese food too. Come join us to try their signature dishes and drinks. It's decorated beautifully in dark tone with DJs and outdoor seatings. Here you'll find creative cocktails Japanese style. The mixologist welcomes us with a misuki sour. It has a beautiful texture from the well shaken raw egg whites. We were treated with many very cool cocktails miso nori, sayuri, a blend of sake, coconut juice, and lemon. To go with the drinks, we were served red sea brim and panzu. The sea brim was very fresh and tasty on its own. First, try it with little sauce to really taste the fish. Now, fill it with tasty panzu sauce to get another experience. The other appetizer we tried was the scallop wings, sesame and kombu. It has a beautiful, chewy texture. Coming to a Japanese bar without trying Japanese whiskey would be a mistake. Here we tried Kyoto Akaobi on the rocks. And Asaobu Pure Malt, neat. Starting with Kyoto Akaobi, it comes in a beautiful textile label. It has notes of vanilla, caramel, and pineapple. More complex is the Asabu Pure Malt. With notes of citrus fruits and spices. We moved to the live sashimi sushi cooking station. Here, the chef is preparing premium sashimi moria wase, seven kinds of high quality mouth watering sashimi, prepared table side by Chef Tom. We start with the less fattier fish, the akami. Just by looking at it, you know it's premium quality. The kampashi had a really firm texture, almost crunchy. It had a really high fat content and a little sweet aftertaste. Then we were surprised by the friendly staff with a welcome sake. It comes in a very generous portion. Sake is the perfect drink to go with sashimi. The hodate was sweet and a melt in your mouth texture. The shutoro was very fatty and flavorful. This means the otoro is even more fatty and flavorful. It literally melts in your mouth. This uni melts in your mouth even more with its umami and buttery taste. To enhance the flavors even more, the overflow sake from the wood box will do it very well. Moving on, the chef prepares us a combination of sushis and rolls. Unagi roll, avocado cream cheese roll, Neki Toro Maki and the signature Salmon Lava Roll. It's an explosion of flavors in the mouth. It took no time to finish this dish. That's how good it is.